This is the Queer Nation Manifesto, 1990. Act up. Queer. Ah, do we really need to use that word? It's trouble. Every gay person has his or her own take on it. For some it means strange and eccentric and kind of mysterious, and that's okay because we like that. But some gay girls and boys don't. They think they're more normal than strange. And for others, queer conjures up awful memories of adolescent suffering. Queer. It's forcefully bittersweet and quaint at best, weakening and painful at worst. Couldn't we just use gay instead? It's a much brighter word, and isn't it synonymous with happy? When will you militants grow up and get over the novelty of being different? Why queer? Well, yes, gay is great and it has its place. But when a lot of lesbians and gay men wake up in the morning, we feel angry and disgusted, not gay. So we've chosen to call ourselves queer. Using queer as a way of reminding us how we are perceived by the rest of the world as a way of telling ourselves that we don't have to be witty and charming people who keep our lives discreet and marginalized in a straight world. We use queer as gay men loving lesbians and lesbians love being queer. Queer, unlike gay, doesn't mean male. And when spoken to other gays and lesbians, the way of suggesting we've closed rank and temporarily forget our individual differences because we face a much more insidious common enemy. Yeah, queer can be a rough word but it's also a sly and ironic weapon we can steal from the homophobe's hands and use against him. This is the Queer Nation Manifesto, 1990. Act up.